Hey everyone, I'm Vivian from Posh Pennies and today we're going to look at 17 ways to make your home look expensive no matter what your design style is. The great thing about today's tips is that they're kind of universal so no matter what your design style may or may not be, they're going to increase the overall quality and feel of your home. But wait, what if you don't know what expensive is supposed to look like? That's okay because you can teach yourself that. All you need to do is look for high-end furniture retailers that you like, like it might be Restoration Hardware or McGee & Co or like some brand that you really love and try and visit their showrooms if you can. Check out their Instagrams and look at their websites, look how they style things and you know, look at their catalogs. You're gonna get a lot of inspiration from those spaces. Another great source of inspiration is always of course luxury hotels. All right, so let's jump right in with tip number one. A lot of luxury and high-end spaces will use neutral furniture as their base pieces and then they'll incorporate pattern and color and texture via the accessories. So that's something that you can definitely do too. It will also potentially save you money in the long run because if you buy a trendy couch that you love now in like pink, for example, you might not love that in two years down the road when you decide to go with a completely different color scheme or you know, you change your mind. So definitely neutral base pieces are a must. Perfecting your window treatments is a very important part of having a high-end luxurious feeling space. If you have curtains, definitely go full length with them, no short curtains, and make sure you hang the rod high and wide. I've already done an extensive video, a couple of extensive videos actually about this, so you can go check those out. But definitely if you can't go long with your curtains, don't go short, just opt for maybe a Roman shade or a beautiful woven blind instead. Also if you've got like those flimsy metal blinds with kinks and bends in them and stuff like that, definitely look into replacing those. So there's absolutely no denying that adding moldings and trim to your space is instantly going to make it feel more custom and luxurious. The one thing that people forget to mention is that you got to look at what kind of trim and molding you're putting up. If you have a very traditional, perhaps maybe older home, you don't want to be putting in modern molding. And the opposite is true as well. I mean, molding is a personal choice. Like everything in interior design, it's always a matter of personal preference. I know, but there are definitely some guidelines as to what you should and shouldn't do. And with moldings, you gotta make sure you're matching styles correctly. So similar to adding molding, adding wall treatments can definitely be a way to make your space feel more expensive and luxurious. So not only with wallpaper, definitely wallpaper can be a way to make a space feel more expensive, but also with things like shiplap, wood slat walls, or beadboard. Using mirrors is a fantastic way to increase the illusion of space in your home and increase also the brightness and the light in your home. So maybe you're intimidated by hanging artwork or picking artwork, you can use a mirror instead. In general, as a tip, I would always recommend going as large as you can with mirrors. Ideally, you'd be hanging your mirror across from a window or near to a window so that it's reflecting and bouncing back as much light as possible back into your space. Large art pieces command attention, they become a focal point, and they look more like what would be hanging in an actual gallery. If your home has that gallery vibe to it, it automatically makes it look and feel more expensive. So for a luxury look, always opt for big pieces rather than small. Even if you're hanging a gallery wall, so a grouping of photos, you wanna go big and not small. The addition of a vintage rug will upgrade your space wherever you put it. Vintage rugs will elevate your space in a way that not a lot of other items can. So if you can find a vintage rug that you love, they're, in my opinion, 100% worth every penny spent. If you can't find a vintage rug that you like, you can always use a vintage style rug as well. Just like with artwork and mirrors, as I mentioned before, scale is important. Rugs generally you want to go bigger, definitely don't go small. You want to make sure you're getting the size of your rug right. If you get the size of the rug wrong, it's really going to throw off the look and feel of a room, so you're just better off not using one if the size is going to be off. The next tip is to update your hardware. The rooms that will probably benefit the most from this update would be kitchen and bathrooms because swapping out your cabinet handles and poles and your faucets and things like that, it's going to make a really, really big difference. Upgrading your hardware in your home can also mean swapping out things like doorknobs, light switch plates, plug covers, cabinet poles, curtain rods, and like furniture knobs. If you have any like 
old yellowed light switch covers or things like that, definitely look at switching those out. Plants are pretty much on every list, no matter what kind of home decor thing you're looking at. But we're gonna talk about them because it's true that adding greenery and plants can definitely make your space feel just that little bit more luxurious. But you have to make sure, again, that you're getting the scale right. If the plant and the pot are not scaled proportionally, it's not gonna have the effect that you want in your room. If you don't have the greenest of thumbs, then you can look at buying bouquets of flowers instead. The thing about bouquets is that you don't want them to be like this huge focal point in your room. You kind of want them to just like recede into the background. A great way to do this is to buy a bouquet and split it out into like several smaller bouquets and then sprinkle them around your house. And this will make it feel a lot more natural rather than just like, oh, I hey, I went out and bought a bouquet and it's just this big like centerpiece. In order to have a high end luxury feeling space, you have to keep things clean. It's just like, there's no point in spending thousands of dollars on expensive furniture and home renovations if your house is dirty. We've all had the experience of walking into a hotel room that we've paid money for, and then we find a hair in the bathroom or a smudge or some dust and we get annoyed. So if you get annoyed in a hotel room, then why would it be any different in your own home? Just because it's your own hair, it doesn't mean that it's any more pleasant to look at. I know that doing chores sucks, but you can find ways to make it a bit easier on yourself if you split them out with your family members, make a schedule. I invested in a few things to make my life easier because otherwise I just know that I just, I hate doing chores and they just don't happen as often as they should. So I bought like a robot back, an electric mop. I also got a carpet spot cleaner. So those things really, really help to kind of stay on top of things. Another way to ensure that your space is feeling high end is to declutter. So it's gonna be a lot easier to keep things clean if you have fewer things. I know it's really hard to part with the things that you've spent your hard-earned cash on, and it's even more difficult to part with things that have sentimental value, but I really think it's important to take a hard look at what you own right now and ask yourself if it's still serving a purpose in your life, if it's still making you happy, and if it is, that's fine, keep it. But if it isn't, then consider maybe donating it or storing it away and picking it up later on and just seeing if you still want that thing in your life. It's also really important to actually maintain what you have. Generally, anything that's well-maintained will automatically feel more premium, which is why new stuff always feels so nice. It's also why you feel better about yourself when you go and get your hair done or your nails done. It's the same thing with your home. It needs care, and when it gets it, it makes everyone feel better. So, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your rugs and your carpets clean. If you can, replace cracked tiles, clean your grout, patch holes on the walls, repaint if necessary. You know, you get the idea. Maintain what you have. The great thing is that once you start catching up on these tasks and they start to get done, you're going to benefit from living in a home that looks more fresh and put together and consequently feels more expensive. If there's one thing that you must look at with a critical eye when you're trying to make your space look more high-end and expensive, it's your lighting situation. So the goal with lighting in your home is to create focal points, pools of light, and areas of interest. So here are some tips to consider when you're assessing your lighting. Adding an oversized pendant is pretty much always a good idea, especially over a kitchen island, a dining area, Area, in a hallway or in the bedroom. Bedside table sconces hung on the wall pretty much always look chic. Use warm lighting and light bulbs and dimmers whenever possible. Also, if you use smart lights, I would definitely recommend using motion sensors. They're really awesome. tip when lighting luxury spaces is to layer your lighting. So there's not just like one overhead light. There's usually a mix of different types of lighting. So recessed, pendant lighting, hidden strip lights, ambient lights, down lighting, up lighting, etc. So definitely look at mixing different types of lighting in your room. Flat, shapeless pillows are not luxurious. Luckily, this is an easy fix. A relatively inexpensive upgrade you can make to your room is by switching out any flattened, old, polyfilled pillows with down-filled pillows. I know down isn't for everyone. A lot of people have allergies, and then there's concerns about animal welfare, which is totally valid. Down is my personal preference because I feel like it looks and feels more luxurious. Virtually all the down pillows and duvets that I own come from Ikea, and that's because all their down is guaranteed to come from sources where they don't do any live plucking or force feeding. So there's that, which is great. And then also it's just, they're so affordable. Keep your linen looking fresh. Ratty towels are a no. Stained sheets are a no. Torn sheets are a no. If you have any of the above, do yourself a favor. Get rid of them and buy yourself some new linens. 
you deserve it. Another tip is to shop for white linen. First of all, it's easier to keep them clean and looking fresh and crisp because you can bleach them. And also in general, white linen tends to just look more high-end. It's what most luxury hotels use. So if you want your bed to look extra luxurious, I recommend using two duvets. You can either stuff two duvets inside one duvet cover or you can have one duvet on top of the other in two separate covers. This is gonna make your bed look so much more inviting and beautiful. So one extra way that really elevates your home that actually goes beyond the look and feel of it is by making it smell good. I'm obsessed with scent, so for me this is really important, but also if you've ever gone to a really fancy or luxurious hotel or resort, sometimes you'll find that they use beautiful, subtle, expensive smelling scents in the rooms and also in some of the common areas like the restrooms. Of course, not all hotels and resorts do this because a lot of people are sensitive to smells and fussy about scents. So if you're one of those people, of course, skip this step. However, I'm a firm believer that appealing to all the senses will help create a more luxurious, more integral, and also more memorable experience in your home. I hope you found some of these tips useful today. If you want to keep in touch, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Posh Pennies, and I will see you next time. Bye.